Hello, it's Paul. I want to do a really quick introduction today for this Evernote, sorry, Trello to Evernote power up for um, Trello. So you can basically add, attach a note from your Evernote to your Trello board and you can create a new, a new and attach a note into your uh, Evernote from your Trello board. It's really easy to use. Let me show you it in action and then I'll show you how to do it, right? So let me open uh, this one. So I've got a blog, right? And I've started tracking when I want, when I've got ideas of writing something new. Uh, so I do a golfing blog, but it's a little bit golf and life related. So I'll come up with ideas, and then if I want to go a bit further, I'll attach it to Evernote and start to write it out. So what I've got is if you do a new if you do a new one, you can go um, I don't know how to break ninety, something like that. right golfing idea. I might put an idea on tips for breaking 90. That's the card, right? Now, what I want to do is create it in my Evernote. So I've got my Evernote open here, and these these are the same the same um, notes or deeper notes in my Evernote than what are on the Trello board further back, right? So what I can do, because I'm set up, is go here, go to here. There isn't one already set up, so I can go create... And I'm going to go how to break 90 in the art of four possible posts. Create and attach. And that will attach this um, note as um, the title, right? Oh, so I want to go click on it. And I can open it in Evernote Online. And I can save a copy and open it on Evernote Online. And start to edit and change that one, right? So I can start to type stuff in. I can start building my blog or my post. Same thing here. As this refreshes, here's my Evernote in the app. And again, uh, ideas on how to break 90, 90p. Um, possible video. And whatever I'm going to write. So what I can do is go and you'll see if I refresh this. It's picked up from what I've already written, right? So... I can t attach that Evernote um, note, or I can create create and attach a new one, right? Or I can go to here, uh, meet with triumph and disaster, and attach a note, something that's already there. I can go and then attach something that's, uh, yeah, let's just do this webinar perfect. So I look at my previous notes, and I can attach it. So if I've done it the other way around, uh, let me remove it, remove, if I've gone to my Evernote and just gone new notes, um, triumph and disaster, right, triumph and disaster, uh, talk about this, whatever it is in there, on my Evernote, I can go and collect it, right, I'm not sure how live it'll stream, so if I go here, Evernote, attach note, uh, it might not look all the time. It might take a while. There it is. So I search it, and I've attached that note, right? And I can obviously open it up, open it up here, and uh, edit it as I want, right? So how do we connect it? So all you do is, you, if you Google it, I'll give you this link to this Evernote, right? I'll, I'll put this link in the description. So all I'm going to do is add power up. It's going to ask you... I'm not sure if it, it but yeah, it will. At this point, it's going to ask you to auth authenticate your Evernote. So it's going to say, uh, let us connect to your Evernote um, so we can get access. So just so click the authenticate, log in, and it'll say, okay, we're all signed up in Evernote. And then you just pick the board that you want to, um, you want to connect the Evernote to. So I'm going to do this one, training my training videos, right? So add. We've enabled Evernote. So now, these are all my videos I've got to create, right? So if I wanted to, again, do it, so I've got to do Canva. Uh, I actually got to do, uh, let's do this, little Trello to Evernote power up, right? So obviously, I can create my card, add it here. Here's the Evernote power up, and create and attach, and uh, oh, so here's sorry, it's going to reauthorize authenticate at this point. So you're going to reauthorize that. It's going to say Trello. 
We're going to put this in... Uh, I, don't think, I don't think I actually have a... Um, let's just put it in my golf diary for now. But you, you attach it to whichever notebook you want, and then it'll create it in there. So hopefully that's explained it. Hopefully that were easy to use. It's... it's um, Really simple, but a really good idea, especially for me, like, you know, if you're doing, if you've got blog ideas where you've got to write a longer form or you want to, you want to track something in Evernote because you find it easier to do more, more information in there than you can. So, hope that helps. Um, leave any comments. Let me know if there's anything else you want to know about Evernote or anything, any, any other program you want to be introduced to. And I will try my best to um, help you out. Cheers.